this last video in the non-manifold series, we're going to look at this cube right now from this view. You, it may look great, but when we go into wireframe, you notice that there's some funny things going on here. These are what are called, called inner faces, and then we also have some faces on top of faces in the back plane. So we'll start with these faces on top, and the reason this is a problem in 3D printing is because every part of geometry has to have its own space. If there's a face that's sharing space with the other face, that's going to cause a non-manifold. So we can select these faces and then just delete the faces. And that will get rid of those. Now for this interface, you may have to fly into your object. And this happens a lot when you mirror something, the faces on the inside happen. And you just include those faces. Now we just have a normal cube, no interfaces, no extra faces. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how you can just sculpt your object to things. So right here we see that the vertices have kind of gone crazy in this area. And this would be a mess to fix manually, it's going to be really difficult. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to Sculpt Mode, go to Smooth, and smooth those vertices out. And now you notice the geometry is fixed, those vertices are back in place, and now this thing is ready to be printed again. The last way to fix non-manifolds is to use the solidify modifier. What this does is it takes those faces and extrudes them inwards or outwards and basically gives the walls a thickness. So right now we have this cone, I'm just going to delete the top face. And this is a non-manifold because it has that open end. So what we can do is we can go over here to the modifiers. I'm just going to scroll this out so you guys can see it better. And then go down to solidify. Now as you see, if you look closely um, at those faces, you see that now they have a thickness. Now the reason I don't like this is because it's going to cause problems, and as you can see down here, those faces are starting to intersect with each other. So like I said, it's not the best way to fix things, but if you only have a few seconds, it may just be what you need to do. The best way is obviously to model correctly the first way. And as you see, if we go into a 3D printing toolbox add-on and check for non-manifolds, we can see all the intersecting faces. One way that you could get around this is instead of using solidified modifier and making walls go inwards, you can make them go outwards. Just like any modifier, there's always a lot of options that you can choose from. For this one, it's going to be in the offset. Instead of negative one, we're going to do one. The only problem is the bottom tip is not going to be pointy, so you're going to have to go back and move that vertex down. Oh.